Hello everyone. Uh, <clears throat> in this lecture we are going to conclude our discussion on standard ML and the remaining part is uh, on function composition. Uh, so what is what is function composition? Well the composition of uh, function f and g is a new function c such that for every argument x, c of x is equal to g of f of x. So we're composing a new function uh, such that first we apply f on the argument and we get back some result and then we apply g on that result. So g of f of x. So for example, let us say that we have these uh, two functions f of x is equal to x plus 3 and g of y is equal to y squared plus 2y. Then if we compose f and g, uh, then g of f of x is uh, x plus 3. Notice f of x is x plus 3. So we're basically sending x plus 3 as an argument to the g function. So that would be x plus 3 here to the power 2, x plus 3 to the power 2, plus 2 times x plus 3. So our y argument here, the formal parameter, is x plus 3. And if we, if you do the algebra here, if you do the math, you will get x squared plus 8x plus 15. That will be the result. That will be the resulting function when co composing f and g. Now if we do this in uh, ML, Let's start off the interpreter. And <clears throat> we define a function, we call it comp. We send in f, g, and x, and we say that the result is g of f of x. Now what do we get back here from the interpreter? Well, notice, notice that what we're sending in is a triple. This is a product pair. So it's, a, it's a, a one argument, which is a triple, where the first part of the triple is a function that takes some value of type A and maps it to a value of type B. The second part of the triple is a function as well. It's a function that takes a value of type B and maps it to a value of type C. Notice that the, the value returned by the, the function f is the value that the function g expects. The type of the value, I mean, the type of the value is b for, uh, as a result from function f, and the type of the value expected of uh, function g is b as well. Because we're doing g of f of x, f of x returns some value of type b, and then g expects a value of that type and, re and uh, returns a value of type c. And the third part of the triple is this x here, and that is of type a. Notice the same type as the function f expects, because we're doing f of x. Uh, so the first part here uh, is the triple, the product pair. And the result the overall result is that we're mapping a triple type, a product type, to a value of uh, type C. Why C? Because G, which is the second part of the triple, returns C, returns a value of type C. So even though this looks uh, quite uh, uh, complicated at first, it is uh, relatively easy to break it up into individual parts in order for us to understand why the interpreter gives exactly this uh, feedback. So comp returns a value of type C. Now, if I use comp, I can do something like this. I, 
build a function on the flight which takes one parameter and returns x plus 3 and that's my first argument to the comp function that's the first part first part of the triple and then I build another function on the fly so this is like a lambda expression I'm basically built it, building uh, two lambda expressions so this is the second function. The first function was x plus 3. The second function is x is y squared plus 2 times y. That's according to the two functions that we he had here. f was x plus 3 and g of y was y squared plus 2y. And I'm going to send, send in the argument 4 to this function. So I get back 63. Um, and uh, 63 because I sent in 4, 4 squared is uh, 16, uh, 8 times 4 is 32, 32 plus 16 is 48, plus 15 is 63, right, this is correct. Okay, so this is a uh, this was the comp function, and this function is neat, but it's really just g of f of x. It doesn't answer, answer this question, uh, which function is the composition of x plus 3 and y squared plus 2y. So what ideally what we want to get back is a function which returns another function. We want a function which returns the function x squared plus 8x plus 15. So instead of computing, composing uh, these two functions, uh, giving a certain value, which resulted in our case in the value 63, what we might want to is just to get back this function, x squared plus 8x plus 15, and then later we could apply that function with some values. So is this possible? So we want the function back x squared plus 8x plus 15 instead of the value of this function for some argument. And yes, this can be done by using this uh, uh, comp operator. So let's look at this. Um, I'll define the function f first as a simple function that takes uh, one argument and, uh, and uh, the body of the function is just x plus 3. So this is a function that maps an integer to an integer. Uh, the, the formal par parameter is an integer and uh, the resulting type is obviously an integer as well. Now the second function I'll call it g. I define it the same way as we did earlier. It's uh, y squared plus 2y. So the uh, formal param parameter is y. And this is similar. This is function g maps an integer to an integer. So now I have two functions, one called f and one called g. And now what I can do is using the built-in operator uh, comp, which is just the uh, lowercase o on the keyboard. So I say I build a f I bind the name called h to the result of g o f. And what notice what I get back? I back I get back now a function which maps an integer to an integer. So a, it tells me it's a function type. It's a function that maps an integer to an integer. And a is really g of f of x. It's g of f of x. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, so now I can apply this function h with some argument x. So h really stands for this function x squared plus 8x plus 15. So if I do h4, I get 63, as we, we got earlier. 
And if I do h of 2, I get 35. I send in 1, I get 24. I send in uh, 3, I get 48, and so on. This is nice. I can compose basically two functions here using this uh, compose operator. So let's look at another example using the, the same operator. Um, there is a there is an explode function, a function called explode, which is built in, which converts a string to a list of characters. So if I say explode Joey, I get the uh, the uh, I get back a, a list of the individual characters in this string. So I'm sending in a string and I get back uh, a character list, list of characters. And we know that reverse reverses a list. We have seen that before. We can say if we reverse uh, a list like 1, 2, 3, we get back 3, 2, 1. Uh, and then, since uh, the, the result of explode is a list, presumably I can do reverse of explode of Yoey. Whoops, guess I need a parenthesis here. Reverse of the result of explode of Yoey. So that gives me uh, the individual characters in the in the list Yoey, but in reverse order. Now, then the question is, what do I get back when I map? I I using the compose operator, I build a function out of three individual functions. Uh, header and reverse and explode. So I'm composing header, reverse and explode on this uh, list uh, which contains the strings Siggi, Joey, Palli and Gummi. So what am I doing? Remember what map does. Map applies a given function to each element in the given list and returns a list of the results. Map applies a given function. What is the given function here? Well, the given function is a composition of three individual functions, header, reverse, and explode. So if we try to uh, foresee what's happening here, we are Header compose reverse compose explode will first uh, apply explode to uh, the elements of the list. So that would be exploding Siggi into individual characters and returning a uh, list of the results. Then reverse will reverse that list, so I will get iggis, and then I'm taking the header of the result, which is i. And the same for the next string, we explode it to get the list joy, then we, re we reverse it and we get the list ioj, and then we take the header of that and that will give us the, give us i. So you can see that we're basically extracting uh, the last character of each string in this list. So I get uh, uh, a character list that contains the last character, which is I. And uh, notice that if I do
if I apply the comp co compose function header reverse explode on Siggy, I will just get the uh, the last character. If I want to do this on many lists, oh, sorry, on many strings, which are inside a list, I just use map, because map applies the given function to each element in the list. Now, to just to conclude. Uh, we can we can simulate this uh, compose operator uh, to show one possible uh, implementation of it. So here is a is a possible implementation for the this operator. We in this case uh, we call it comp here as as opposed to o. So we have a uh, name for the function called comp and takes in two uh, functions f and g. Notice that it doesn't take in an argument because we want to. What we want to get back is a function, which we can then later apply to a given argument. So it only takes two functions f and g, and then we use a let statement, which says let fun c x. So now we have a new name here c for the function. That function takes an argument. Let fun c x return g of f of x. So the function c, which takes a one single argument, the body of that function is g of f of x, and then we say in c. So what we're really doing here is, here is, re is returning the value of the expression in, in the in expression. But what is this c here? It is a function which is uh, defined up here. So this is a kind of a special syntax that can be used to return a function from a function. Comp, of course, is a function. It takes two arguments, f and g. Both of them are functions. And we return the function c, which is defined in the manner uh, shown here in the let part of the statement. Let fun c x be g of f of x, and then we simply say in c, because uh, ml will return uh, the value in the in part of the let statement. So it returns c, and then the question is, what is c? Well, c is a function that is defined in this manner. So if this would be the, the this would be the way to simulate this comp operator, to and this would be a way for you to uh, to uh, return a function from another function. Uh, and then once, if we call this comp function, we would do it in a similar way as uh, as is shown here. We would say val h is equal to comp gf comp gf and that in that case we would get exactly the same function back as was shown here we get a function back called h which we would be able to call with uh, h of uh, 4 so let me see if i actually have this function Right, here I have, let me increase this font. So I have the comp function the way we uh, programmed it initially, meaning it took an f and g uh, and an argument to apply to uh, the composition of the functions. So this was g of f of x, but now what I want is a function where I only uh, send f and g, 
the, the two functions in and I get back, back a function which I can then later apply to an argument. So I have comp and I have comp2. So if I load this in, it's called comp. Uh, this was fine. I got, I have the names comp and comp2, and um, comp was something that we used earlier. Let me see if I can find that one. Here, I use comp. I supply it with the two functions and one argument. So I'm basically uh, supplying it with a triple. Uh, and what we got back here was 63. Now, now we have a function called comp2, which returns a function back. So in that case, I should be able to send in, well, let us first look at this. Uh, comp2 does not expect a product type. It expects two functions here and uh, not inside parentheses. So this is not a pair. So I should do comp2 then uh, our function that we defined earlier what was it called again? It was called f and g. We have already defined these two functions, f and g. So I should be able to call comp with f and g, but I need to get, because this uh, returns a function back, I should say something like this, val h is equal to the result of calling comp2 with f and g. And I get back a function which uh, uh, maps an integer to an integer, and then I can call this function with h of 4, and I get 63 back. So what we have done is really to emulate the functionality of the composition operator, the built-in composition operator, this lowercase o in ML. Uh, we have a, 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 a simulate that behavior by writing our own version of comp here and it's called comp2.